Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering. Off my sample platter. <gasps> yes, indeed, folks. Sample platter video series of videos I've been for a little while. I go over there, trap food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then I talk about the stuff, folks. Folks, I'm talking about the stuff while I'm doing it. Got a Peter Can Thunderbolt poster. I got a crappy old ladder off to the side. I'm wearing a cool shirt. What cool shirt am I wearing today, folks? Well, I'm still wearing my Cool Society One shirt. Okay, well, I do these videos in batches, so this batch this is a Society One batch. If you don't know what Society One is, they're an excellent band. They've been around for a long time. Really, really good band if you like metal, kind of industrial stuff. Kind of depends on what era you sort of go into their stuff. I'm more, they're sort of like middle, like early to middle era, but they're good. their new stuff is solid too, so it's not quite, you know. I don't want to be that guy who's like, oh, you know, you have to listen to the older stuff. It's like, no, they're good. their new stuff's good too. Uh, but anyway, I've also got a cool bracelet on. A bracelet comes courtesy of my friend Shana McCoy. If you watch these videos, you've seen the bracelet, you know, like, you got, at a certain point, you gotta be figuring, what the fuck is, like, he's gotta be getting some sort of back end or something. I promise I'm not. Uh, if, for whatever reason, I ever get any type of, you know, paid sponsorship, that's never going to happen. I, I will let you folks know. Uh, China is just a super cool guy. He's a martial artist. Uh, you know, movie star, stuntman, comic creator, super awesome guy, and really just all around really cool individual. That's why I try to go over there, you know, drum up some business for him. But if you think it's nifty, it does that, it makes noises, let me know. I can put you in contact with him. You guys can work out the details. But anyway, folks, before I do any of that, what am I going to do for you today? Well, I'm trying some stuff. What am I trying for you? Boom! We've got Coca-Cola with coffee, but wait, Brandon, didn't you do a video on that like a year ago? Are you, have you lost your damn mind? You did a bunch of different flavors. Yeah, no, I did. I own it. I, that's what happened. But I didn't do mocha flavor. Because at the time, I don't think mocha flavor was a thing. Uh, I don't know when the mocha one came out. But I did the caramel, the vanilla, the dark roast. I did, I did like a bunch of them. And I don't remember seeing the mocha until recently. And... Uh, for folks, oh, I should have brought it as a prop, but I don't have it with me. But anyway, for any of you folks who might not have seen my previous video, go watch my previous video. I'm a big fan of this stuff. Well, at least some of the other flavors. Specifically, the caramel one is really my go-to. But I'll, I'll go with the other ones every now and again. Here's the thing. The reason why is because Coca-Cola with coffee, specifically mostly the caramel one. The caramel one, definitely. Uh, it's basically just a rebranding of an item that came out in the, like, early 2000s called Coke Black. And I loved Coke Black. I was a huge, huge fan of it. I was very sad when they decided to discontinue it. And now it's Coca-Cola with coffee. I wish they would have brought it back as Coke Black. I think that would have... I get why they didn't, because it wasn't a very successful product, but I liked it a lot. And if you're ever interested, by the way, uh, there was a video, it's online, Anderson Cooper, I believe... Yeah, I want to say, he went over there and he tried it famously. And I'm sure he tanked the sales on that thing because he was not a fan. Eh, it's each their own. I mean, Anderson's doing his thing. Very successful guy. The fact that he didn't like Coke Block doesn't make him a bad person. I'd be suspect. I'm just saying. But at the same time, a lot of people didn't like Coke Black. But anyway, this is a new flavor. Well, or at the very least, it's a new flavor to me. Hopefully, I like it a bunch. I've enjoyed the other ones. And it, it really is a testament, like, when I do these videos, obviously I don't go over there and I, you know, stockpile on this stuff, even if I really like something. But I do, you know, a lot of them, I will go over there periodically and grab some of this stuff. This is one of the things where typically it is in my fridge at this point. I usually go over there about once a week and I'll buy like a seven day supply. Because a lot of times I like to go over there and have one before I go into work. Helps wake me up a little bit, and I enjoy it. So let's try this one. Hopefully I like this one, too. I think this is the last thing I'm going to review for the day. Oh. I'll say this. Right off the bat, it smells like Coca-Cola coffee, but I do get sort of a mocha element to it. So, and the funny thing is, before they brought this back... I would actually come up with my own homebrew version of this stuff, where I literally just go over there and take a whole can of Coke, 
pour it into a, you know, big ass glass. I had like a big plastic cup I would use. Pour it into there. And then I would go over there. I would take a Starbucks mocha double shot, like the full can version. Pour that in there. That was pretty damn close to Coke Black in flavor. So I'm hoping that this will be really similar to that because that was actually really good. It's really similar. <laughs> yeah. Like my brain was instantly like, oh, so we're drinking this again, eh? It's been a while since we brought out the big old cup and mixed this stuff. Yeah. It's a little bit different from my version. Um, the, the the stuff that I make, which I haven't made in a while because I haven't had a reason to, it's uh, it's a little bit creamier because, you know, it's mixing like a full coffee drink in with the thing. This is less creamy. It's a little bit more sharp with the coffee aspect. But it's sweet. It does have <clears throat> sort of a mocha creaminess to it. Yeah, not as creamy as my stuff. I would... That's what I should have been doing, folks. I should have gone over there, <clears throat> gone to the Coca-Cola people and been like, look, I know you came out with Coca-Cola Black. <clears throat> By the way, any stockpile you have, I would like to own personally. But uh, in case you don't want to make that stuff, you just mix this shit and this shit. It's pretty damn good. It genuinely tastes pretty similar to this, though. Like I said, it's just... The coffee is a little bit sharper. The, the Coke flavor is also a little bit more prominent. Whereas, again, because like the, you know, I'm just using my version. Which you haven't tried, but in my version, I'm just using a standard can versus the uh, Starbucks Double Shot, which is a bigger can. So, mine leans a little bit more heavily in that direction. In this case... It's much more, you know, mixed. Like, the, the percentages are more even. So, you're still getting a pretty prominent Coke flavor. Then you get sort of a coffee edge. And then, sort of going throughout it, you get a very sort of light mocha, you know, kind of chocolatey flavor. It's really good. I enjoy this a lot. Now the question becomes, do I prefer it over the caramel one? Which is presently my... My personal favorite. The answer is no, because ultimately the caramel one, for me, tastes the closest to traditional Coke Black. I don't know if that's actually the case. It's been a long time since I've had a, you know, real Coke Black. But from my memory, that's what it tastes closest to. And although I do enjoy my own concoction that I came up with, I, I you know, I, I was, I created that in the hopes that I could go over there and recreate Coke Black. That's how much I like Coke Black. This is evocative of the stuff that I make, and it's kind of nice because I can just buy a can versus having to, you know, mix my own shit and stuff like that. But ultimately, what I am looking for is that Coke Black taste, which the caramel for me is closest to. This, however, would probably be my second runner-up. Or not my second runner-up. Well, it would be my second place. Second runner-up would be third place. Uh, this would definitely be my my second place out of the different flavors. After that would probably be the dark, and then like kind of in a distant, you know, kind of off to the side would be the vanilla. That's the only one that I really just didn't really work for me. It's not evocative of Coke Black or anything else that I've ever created. So, but yeah, I do enjoy the, the uh, Coca-Cola with coffee with mocha. I enjoy it. I think it's good. Like I said, if you're ever interested in coming up with my concoction, I'm not going to say it's the healthiest thing in the world for you. I used to do it mostly back in my 20s. And I'm not, I went over there too at one point in time when I was working at my gas station job. I worked overnights, so there was hardly anybody there, especially the first year I was there. And uh, I would go over there and I, I spent an almost an entire shift trying to recreate Coke Black with the fountain machine and the coffee machine. I'm like, I'm going to get it. I never got it. And then by happenstance one time, I was just like, I wonder if I just pour in some Coke with this stuff, how it'll taste. And it was actually pretty good. It kind of tastes like this. So 
if you're ever interested. Like, if for some reason you don't have the mocha available where you're at, just take a can of Coke, take a can of double shot mocha from uh, Starbucks, mix them together. Pretty similar. Anyway, that's going to do it. <laughs> anyway, folks, that's going to do it for me on this one. Five things before I get out of here. <clears throat> have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Stupendous rest of your year. If you can go over there and have yourselves a truly Coca-Cola black rest of your life, folks. Because it, even though it didn't last long and Anderson Cooper didn't like it, we still love you, Coke Black. It's so good. Ah. Final two things, folks. <laughs> Final two things, folks. Uh, number one, try to bring some positivity to the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what do you do if you can't do it all the time? I know I can't do it all the time, folks. Here's what you do. You try not to be an asshole. That's, I think that as people, as a species, that's what we're capable of at the moment. You know, there might become a time, you know, 50 million years down the line when we've super evolved and stuff like that. You know, maybe we'll reach a higher state of consciousness. But as we are, you know... Is the, the, you know, we're, uh, how was, how did the, the one species, I think there, there was a species in, uh, Star Trek that referred to us as ugly bags of mostly water. I mean, I don't know about the ugly part, there's, I mean, I'm not the most attractive guy in the world, but there's some pretty good looking people out there. Jessica Alba's out there, she's freaking gorgeous. And hell, folks, you don't have to be Jessica Alba, especially Jessica Alba in the 90s, uh, just saying. You're probably wonderful and beautiful, too. So, self-love and all that good stuff. But if nothing else, just try to mitigate the level of, level of assholishness. Regardless of, you know, what... The fact that we're, you know, just mostly water and some eyeballs and such. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Maybe you know somebody over at Coca-Cola. You can go over there. You can you know, do a little schmooze and stuff like that. You watch the video. You're like, hey, uh... You know, watch this guy, he was, you know, talking about, you know, maybe go over there and bring Coke Black back, you know, like, properly. You know, it doesn't even have to be a watch birthday. They could just send it directly to my house. I'd be perfectly fine with that. And I could go over there, I could have the, the bottles and the whole thing. It, it wouldn't be cost effective. I'm not saying it would be cost effective, but they're a multi-billion dollar company. They can deal. Or conversely, you could do something way more productive with your time, like, um, oh, I don't know, uh, read The Great Gatsby. I've never done it, but maybe you will, and maybe it'll be a life-changing event. I, I don't know. I, I do occasionally read books, but I read mostly, like, read the Kenny J series. They're really good uh, uh, sci-fi books. They're loads of shit, loads of fun. Uh, Song of the Beast, that's an excellent book. It's a standalone the Crossroads Trilogy, that one's really good, too. Um, the Night Angel Trilogy, that one's a lot of fun. What else, what else, what else, what else? There's other ones. Just read books. Read books. Reading is fundamental. And if for whatever reason you can't read, there are classes available. If for some reason you can't read, uh, you know, due to some prohibitive issue or something like that, uh, I'm not the guy to talk to, but uh, I hope your situation improves. Bye.